Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long, long time. We have had a ton going on. We just moved into our apartment. We're gonna be here for three months. And yeah, it's been very interesting. Forgive my nails. This is just the result of moving and just nonstop doing stuff. Um, but I'm here today to share an Erin Condren haul for you guys. It is the back to school launch. And I have to say thank you so, so much to Tori and the Erin Condren team for sending these goodies my way. I feel so spoiled <laughs> right now because there is a lot to show you guys. This is super, super exciting. Before I dive into everything, I wanted to give you guys an update because I've gotten some messages and comments just about like where I've been and all that kind of stuff. Everything is totally fine. Everyone in our family is healthy and everything like that. We have just been um, in the process of selling our home and moving into a temporary apartment as we wait for our new house to get finished up. We're uh, building our forever home currently. So yeah, I just got all my filming stuff set up and we've just been so crazy busy between like packing and paperwork and just all the different steps that go along with the home selling process, which I've thought about filming a video to kind of walk you guys through all of that. So if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing, if you're thinking of selling your home in the near future or you're just kind of curious what it entails, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll put that on my list of some video ideas for you guys. Um, I'm going to work really, really hard at catching up on filming and things like that. I still wanna share our July budget video with you guys. I still wanna share my July plan with me. Um, I've been using my daily duo for the last week and that's been going amazing. So I want to share all of that with you guys. I just have to find the time to do it where I can like sit down and actually focus on it. Um, I, we still have a little bit of unpacking to do, not a whole ton. I got the main area of the apartment done and the girls area was like the top priority, so that's done. And now it's just really unpacking my husband and I's room slash my office because now my office is in our bedroom, <laughs> which is gonna be interesting. Um, and then our bathroom and stuff like that. So I have a little bit left to do. I need to call utility companies and cancel that and like just all these little things. I'm gonna run over to the house today and drop off um, keys and garage door openers and just all that kind of stuff. All these little things, you know, it's crazy. So I'm filming this Monday morning, July 6th. I wanted to film it last night. Um, but I could not find for the life of me all of my filming equipment and I just got too tired to like keep rummaging through things. But I finally set everything up this morning. It feels really good to have it all set up and I am so excited to get back to filming videos, you guys. I have missed filming videos. I have a lot of really exciting projects in the works that um, I will be revealing to you guys in the nearish future. Lots of exciting things going on over here. But anyways, let's dive into the purpose of this video, which is to show you guys the back to school launch items from Erin Condren. So um, I also wanted to quickly mention that I know there's been a lot of like drama and things going on with Erin Condren. I personally am still going to be using Erin Condren products. That is my choice. I am all about doing what you feel comfortable with. Um, I'm personally separating the actions of Erin Condren as an individual from the company itself because I love the products and everything like that. And there's tons and tons of people that work for Erin Condren, Tori being one of my main connections. And I just, yeah. So anyways, that's my stance on it. I, I'm not gonna go like too far into detail on all of that. I know there's some, YouTubers who have, you know, dedicated whole videos to it and have, you know, been more vocal about it. I've been kind of just sitting back and like processing it all privately. That's just kind of how I work when like my anxiety levels are high and things like that. It's not really something that I like share or talk through with other people, if that makes sense, other than like my husband or my close friends. So anyways, um, so yeah, so that is that. And then let's go ahead and dive into the products. And I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. There is a lot to get through. So I am just gonna grab the first thing I see, which is this petite planner um, holder. And a lot of items in this box have the mid-century circles design, which is super pretty. I am personally not going to like 
use any of this stuff probably until we're in our house. I'm just gonna probably keep it all packed up, but I'm planning on using a ton of it because it's super cute. So anyways, this is the first thing. It can display up to four petite planners and petite journals in this little holder, which that is really nice because those have typically just been in a drawer for me. There are a couple petite planners I still use. I like to use the monthly petite planner for my content planning. I like to use the meal planner. Um, and then the checklist planner for like habits and things like that and then I do have a little journal that I use just for like notes and stuff so that'll be perfect that can just sit on my desk very easily um, and I'll go ahead and open it up even though I just said I wasn't going to <laughs> and let me see if I can find some scissors everything is like so all over the place right now um, but I'm gonna open this up because I am kind of curious about the fit of things and actually now that I'm like saying this out loud I don't even know where my like petite planners are so yeah <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting for a bit um, you know I don't know where they are so x -nay on that or wait I think I have hang on I think I have like one petite planner somewhere or do I? Oh, I have these ones. Okay. Okay. So I have two, but I just am curious about like the fit of everything. So this is the old monthly. This is the new monthly. And again, I like to use these for like content planning and stuff like that. Oh, and I guess I need to take this little insert out. And I'll just put those right in there. And they do fit absolutely perfectly in there so that is a great way to store those books and actually I am going to use this because I use my content planner all the time so I'm going to set that off to the side okay and then the next thing I've got here are these clear colorful page flags these are just like normal you know page flags there's a little picture on the back again I'm not going to open it and like like show it and everything just because I don't really have space <laughs> for all of that and I do want to keep this stuff like packaged nicely and things like that for when we move again but um, those are just you know your standard clear little page flags and it shows on the back there how you can mark that okay had a little coughing fit there uh, my allergies have been really really bad in this apartment okay so the next thing is one of the items from the summer seasonal surprise box which I don't think I reviewed. I'm pretty sure I didn't because I received it, I believe during the move, I don't remember. But I know that this was one of the items in the seasonal surprise box. I don't even think I've opened it. I don't even know where it is. You guys, I'm all over the place, I apologize. But here is the like little sticky notes, which I can never have enough sticky notes. This is really cute. I personally love the layers pattern. It reminds me a lot of the Grand Canyon and I live in Arizona, so that's kind of just very near and dear to my heart personally, but it reminds me, reminds me a lot of the Grand Canyon, especially like these oranges and like peach and all those colors. So there's that. And then there's this sticky note set, and this is very similar. Um, this I'll probably use, so I'm going to open it up. Um, very similar to the other like little, um, I don't know if you guys remember, the other like sticky note thing oh these are nice Ooh, this is really nice this is perfect for like the daily duo for like the square section if you're writing like a little to-do list oh and i just realized i'm not really in frame but yeah so we got some page flags these are really really cute i personally love stuff like this because it's really easy to like take with you on the go it's got the mid-century circles pattern there but yeah, so as of today, all of this stuff will be on the Erin Condren website, and I'll have a link down below to take you guys to all the new launch items, so definitely check out those links if you're interested. This I was very curious about, because this is really cute, and I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really show it, but it's a little card holder that you can put on your phone um, to hold like your main cards and things like that. I don't know that I'd ever do that per se. I'd be too worried about them like slipping out or something but I can definitely see myself like putting like little appointment cards in here or whatever it may be um, I'm just kind of curious because I love my pop socket if there would be enough space for this and a pop socket um, I did get a 
like flower power pop socket that I'm yet to put on my phone. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of curious if I could do both, but this is really, really cute. It's rose gold, which, you know, I love my rose gold. So there's that. And then there's this different um, pen holder clip. This is really fun. And I was kind of curious about this actually. I wanted to see if it was like super elastic or what. What I love about this is that it's a clip. So you can like move it wherever you want. Oh, and this is, okay, so yeah, I was curious. This is stretchy. So that's nice as far as fitting your pens, but then you can move this. If they came out with this in rose gold, I'd be super, super happy. But it's just a clip that you can like, you know, put on anything. Oh, there's something on there. Um, you can just throw it on like the side here, take your pen with you. That's nice because the current pen loops are adhesive and you can't really move them around. I am really digging this. So yes, I would love to see this in rose gold. That would make my day. Um, and maybe it is in rose gold. I haven't gone to check out like the website and stuff. And actually now that I'm like going through stuff, they did send me a pricing sheet. I don't know where all of it is. I swear this is gonna be the most hot mess video ever, but yeah, I don't know where all the price sheet information is, but they did send me stuff. But obviously you can go, you know, check out the prices on the website and things like that. And then there's this accordion pouch, which my favorite color is purple. So I am all about this. I love the rainbow one. I use it to organize my daughter's like hair ties and stuff like that. Or actually both girls now, cause Julia is finally getting a little bit more hair, but just their hair ties, hair clips, bands, like things like that, their little chapsticks. Um, and then this one I'll probably use for me for something. Cause this is super cute. It's an ombre like purple accordion pouch and this fabric feels a little different from the other one it's like got more of like a soft feel to it but this is really really pretty so there's that and then this is something I was really excited about as well and I hope they come out with this in other patterns I do love the layers pattern but I would love to see this Ooh, lots of noise I would love to see this in like a flower power version um, cause I'm kind of obsessed with that pattern, but this is a pencil case. So inside, oh, see, this is nice. And this might even be nice for like makeup, honestly, you guys. Um, so you've got this little pouch up here. You've got a whole bunch of pen loops there and there. And then this nice, like deep pocket here. This is cute. I love this. Yeah. I would love to see this in flower power with like a rose gold zipper. And some of the items that Erin Condren launches, sometimes they like launch them and see how they do. And if they're really popular items, they'll start putting them in other patterns. So we'll see what happens with this, but this is definitely really cute. Um, I will probably get one for my daughter for school. Honestly, she loves Erin Condren stuff as well. And she loves rose gold. She's a little mini me. I love it. Um, okay. So then we've got these magnetic bookmarks and these are just standard. I like how like long these are actually. So let me grab my little petite planner and we'll check these out. So, okay. These are like the more like flexible kind, but they just go on like that. And I like that these are a little longer because they have like a similar version and they're really short, but they fall off so easily. Um, so I think this will be really nice with having them, you know, be a little bit longer to like mark your pages and stuff like that. So there's that. And then we've got this glue tape. I want to say this was in the summer seasonal surprise box as well. But this is nice um, if you want to put like pictures and stuff like that in your planner or if you want to, I've seen a couple people use like sticky notes and use those as stickers. So it's kind of just that like double sided, you know, tape. Always good to have. And then we've got this undated full calendar sticker. These are nice for like bullet journaling. I'm personally not really into bullet journaling, but you can see a little picture there. So it's just something you could stick in your petite planner. Like if you've got a dot grid or even a lined petite planner, um, anything like that, that might be nice. Like for, you know, kind of creating your own, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. Maybe I could use this for like 
health and fitness tracking or something like that. That might be something I do to like track my Weight Watchers points or something along those lines. It's undated, so that's really nice. So there's that. Actually, I might do that. That might be what I use that for. And then this, I believe, was in the summer surprise box as well. And it's this um, on-the-go folio sleeve. And it's packaged like kind of weird. I don't want to accidentally cut it or something. But let's see if I can open this up. So yeah, it's just a little protective sleeve. So this would actually be really cute, like for my like Weight Watchers stuff. That's probably what I'm gonna use this for, honestly. So here, let's check this out. Um, quite a few items for the Petite Planner line, which is nice. I have definitely found like my groove with my planning system and I'm excited to share more about it with you guys. And like I said, there's like a couple things that I'm personally working on that I will share with you guys in the near-ish future. But I haven't had a chance to work on it like a whole ton quite yet because of everything that we've had going on. So, okay. So there's that. Oh, that's cute. And it gives it kind of like that sparkly, glittery thing feel to it. So yeah, that is really, really fun. I like that. It just kind of protects the covers and stuff like that. So there's that. And then we still have so much to get through. Um, okay. So then there's this blush pencil pouch and these I love. I have a couple of these and I love that they came out with one in blush and it's got more of this, um, it's not as like sturdy feeling. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I like the fabric. It's really, really soft and I love the color of this. So just another pencil pouch that you can easily, you know, put on your items like your petite planner, things like that. If you wanted to like throw this in your, in your purse and put like, you know, your pens and utensils and stuff in there, that makes that really easy. So there's that. Okay. And then we've got a, this was very interesting. <laughs> When I first saw this, I was like, what is this? Um, it's a ruler, but it's like a, what is it called? A 12 inch square or 12, yeah, 12 inch square prism ruler. And this is definitely different. So it's a, you know, standard size ruler, but it's like in this little like square prism with the ombre. It's really, really pretty. I really like it. I feel like this might be more of like a decorative thing versus a practical thing, but we'll see. I mean, I may end up using it for other stuff, but that is always fun. I feel like you can never have too many rulers personally. And then we've got these hexagon page marker stickers, and these just fold over in half as another way to organize, you know, your notebooks and things like that, create sections, create dividers, all that kind of stuff. So it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. There's all the different colors. You get two colors of each of those. So there's that. And then, well, this I'm really excited about. This I can see myself using like right away. So I'm gonna open it up if I can figure out how to open it up. There we go. It's a acrylic desk stand. Elevate the functionality of your desk with this multifunctional wet erase desk stand. Track your productivity with the reusable to-do list. Use it as a mini whiteboard, a book stand, even a phone stand with room for your charger. So that is really cool. I've seen tons of pictures of that, of this, and it's got the, um, oh, it's like a very basic, very basic um, look to it. I think there's a one that's like a little bit more decorative. This might be like the more focused one, which is honestly probably what I would prefer. So let's see if I can open this up. And I can figure out how to put it together. It's got gold foiling. Again, I would love to see it in rose gold, but you guys know me. It's just, okay, so how does this go? This goes like this, I think. Or wait. Yes. Oh, cute, you guys. 
So there is a little hole for your phone charger. You can put your phone right here. Again, I'm filming on my phone, otherwise I would like test it out. But here's your little to-do list where you can write the day and that just sits up perfectly. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm obsessed. I knew I was gonna love that and I do. I love it, it's super cute. So there's that. And then we've got this acrylic nesting desk organizer and it comes with a designer desk tray, an accessory tray, a pen holder, and a mail sorter. I personally love that it's clear. I think that's really fun. Um, I think I would probably use this to organize like my dual tip markers, something like that where I wanna like show off the colors. And things. But um, so here's the pen holder, just a standard acrylic, um, gets really messy with fingerprints. Your like mail holder, and then, oh, this is kind of like stuck in here, huh? Or where's the little box? Yeah, accessory tray, dust tray. Okay, this is kind of, oh, there's tape. Haha. <laughs> okay, so there's a little tray with the mid-century circle, circles. And this little um, box that you could use to put, you know, your like paper clips and stuff in and I'm curious like I think all of this actually yeah all of that fits that's how it was packaged so you could even just use the tray like to house all of that if you wanted to so that's really cute I know it's kind of hard to see because it's clear but there's that moving right along I'm telling you <laughs> there's so much stuff in this box like I cannot thank Tori and the Erin Condor team enough for this because this is so exciting to have all these goodies to share with you guys so here's a bunch of binder clips. I personally love binder clips. I use them all the time. I have some rose gold ones that I got from Target and then now I've got some other really cute ones I can use and I can put these like, you know, in my acrylic little desk holder thing. So there's those. It says ta-da, to-do, and today. And my allergies are starting to go crazy again. Okay. And then I've got a couple notebooks here. First, there's this cacti one. It says, the time has come to do what is right by Martin Luther King Jr. This is just a classic lined notebook, which I personally can never have too many of these. And again, I live in Arizona, so the cacti is very cute, um, very close to my heart. I love cacti, so there's that. And then there's also this one, which this is the productivity notebook and this I feel like it's really perfect for meal planning and that's probably what I'm going to use it for um, if I don't use my petite meal planner. I kind of like that this is a little less like structured than the meal planner, um, the petite meal planner so I can see myself using this a little bit more and this is uh, perforated so if I wanted to like take this out to the store or something like that I could do that but I can see myself like using this to create the meal plan this to create our like little grocery list things like that and this cover is really really pretty so it says you must be the change you wish to see in the world by Gandhi so a couple really cute notebooks that I can use uh, running out of space to put things um, and then I was so excited about this, you guys. I love the Erin Connor file folders. I have some Hexagon ones here somewhere, um, but these are the layers ones, and these are really, really cute. I love the file folders. Um, so I believe, oh no, some of them are damaged. Okay, bummer. Oh well. Um, still usable, but a little damaged. Oh, these are kind of bent up too, but. Anyways, so yeah, file folders always come in handy. I will probably still use these even though they're a little scuffed up. It doesn't really matter that much. They're they're not laminated. That's the one thing is like, for something as nice as this, I wish it was a little bit more protected like with lamination and stuff like that. Um, Cause stuff like this can just bend so easily and get damaged so easily in the shipping box. But these are really, really cute. So I can see myself using this to like organize my business receipts and things like that, organize my daughter's like schoolwork, whatever it may be. So there's some file folders. And obviously this like launches back to school, but you don't need to be a student to use all this stuff. Um, okay, and then there's this hexagon pen, 
pencil holder and I was really really looking forward to this one as well because it's got that blush color and I love like blush and navy and rose gold and like all that kind of stuff so um, this is just the hexagon pattern and it's coming off like more cream white on camera but this is definitely like a blush pink color in person so this is really cute just a super lightweight you know typical pencil holder so that will definitely come in handy I cannot wait to decorate my office in the new house like I'm not gonna bother being like super decorative in the apartment but I'm really really excited to get my office set up and I will definitely share that with you guys once I um, once I get that all set up so then we've got our dual tip highlighters and these are really cute so we've got like a all the colors are back here so there's gray blush Oh, let me hold that closer for you guys, if that'll focus. It's not wanting to focus, <laughs> but there's gray, blush, pool, orchid, and Monaco. So there's all those colors there. I have really been digging like gray highlighters recently, so I'm excited about these. And they're dual tip, just like the marker. So you've got the thicker side and then the thinner side over here. I'm not gonna open those up because I'm probably not gonna use them. Um, until we move and then I've got a bunch of scissors <laughs> so many scissors which is so funny so this I want to say was definitely in the um, seasonal surprise box and it's these pocket scissors which this is really nice because you could easily put this like in your little pencil pouch here that will fit perfect with like maybe a little ruler and a pen and pencil or something like that um, I haven't like played around with these too much, so I'm kind of curious like how they work. Um, so let's see. So, okay. Now how, oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's cool, okay. Pretty easy to handle and to use and stuff like that. And then when you want to put them away, you just click them in like that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's that. And then there's these ones here, the acrylic ombre sticker, or stickers, scissors. I do want to share like my planner stack, which is a very condensed <laughs> planner stack now with you guys eventually. That's another video idea I have. But um, yeah, so there's just these ombre scissors with the gold. I definitely wanna see more rose gold options. That would be amazing. But there's that. And I'll have to check out the website because maybe they do come in other colors, I don't really know. But there's these scissors here too, which are the gold metal scissors. I don't really need to take them out. They feel very sturdy and heavy. So there's that. So lots of like different scissor options, which is really cool. And then the last thing I got is this, um, is this the last thing? Yes. <laughs> is this clip folio, which is really, really cool. I can see myself using this for work. I think it would be really perfect for that actually. So it's in this little um, mid-century circles pattern. And then they sent me the notepad separate because they had forgotten to put it in with the PR box, but there's a little notepad. So on the outside, you've got your clipboard. And then when you open it up, you've got all this space here. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. So you can put your, this is so cute. And I'm sure this comes in other patterns and stuff too. So you can put... Let's see if I can get this in here. Is something still stuck in there? Or what's going on here? No, nothing's still stuck. Okay, does this like fit in here? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, I <laughs> got it. So yeah, so you've got your notepad in there. You've got a little pocket here where you can put some papers and things like that. But this is really, really neat. So it's got an elastic band to kind of fasten it up. Again, your like little clipboard here. 
and then open it up and you've got your notepad. So this is really cute. I am loving this a lot. And it's again in that like mid-century circles pattern, which the majority of the stuff is either in the mid-century circles or the layers um, in the PR box that I received. But there might be other YouTubers out there or members of the EC squad who got other patterns that you can check out their videos and stuff like that. But this is what I received and I am so, so grateful to have gotten all these goodies to share with you guys. This is a really exciting launch. Outside of the Life Planner launch, I would say this is like my other favorite launch that Erin Condren does every year is the back to school because they have been releasing just more and more like super cool, unique stuff. I'm loving all the acrylic like desk organizers and things like that. I think they're really pretty. So that is it for this video. Please stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to again try to catch up and film as much as I can this week. It's going to be interesting. Um, I don't want to take away too much time from my family, so that's where I get a little hesitant with all of that. Um, I know the next time I have to like really sit down and film a lot will be Wednesday, so I don't know if you guys will see a video tomorrow. Maybe you will. I, <laughs> I need to like just sit down with the calendar and like come up with a game plan and stuff, but I, I obviously wanted to get like all this like moving and house stuff out of the way first. We are set to close tomorrow. Close of escrow is tomorrow, the 7th. And it'll be amazing to get all of this behind us and to just like finally feel like we can breathe. We're almost settled into the apartment. So thank you so much for being patient and bearing with me as we're going through these like big life changes and stuff like that. I've definitely missed you guys. I can't wait to film more videos and share more with you guys. But until then, I will talk to you all later. Bye.